Hello! Hey, everybody. Uh, so, that's good that we weren't recording all that stuff that I just said about uh, not having a very exciting start to this stream. <laughs> so, uh, we, we uh, are not able to do a proper episode of the podcast this week, um, just due to... I was on work travel. Yeah, and then basically, the, and, and I was uh, too lazy to edit the uh, the part of the episode that we have record, recorded so far. So, uh, in lieu of that, we are going to be playing this video game for a bit, and I, I played probably about an hour of it. You haven't seen any of this yet. Nope. Uh, this is the council, as you can tell. Um, that kind of mutant-looking guy is going to be our main character. This is, <coughs> um, excuse me, a I'll just say a pretty dumb game. It's it's an adventure game, like uh, in the style of the Telltale, walking around. Your choices matter to how the story unfolds. Except with mm. the Telltale games, they didn't really matter too much. With this one, it seems to actually theoretically have more of an impact what you do and say to people. That's what uh, that's what I hear at least. But um, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, aside from the dialogue being very dumb, which we'll see here in a. a brief moment because uh, it actually has like a, a skill tree like an rpg so like oh. you have to put points into various uh traits to be able to do certain things okay so that that part is cool i'm gonna start a new game from scratch here um but everything else hmm. that i've seen so far has been pretty ridiculous I hope the audio works. Oh. Uh oh. We lost. We lost the one, the one we viewer. We lost the one person. Oh no. How do we, how can we tell if the audio is working? Uh. We'll see here in a second if there is anything we can hear. Okay, hold on. Why are we unable to hear anything? This is going great after a great start. <laughs> <coughs> well, hold please. Hold please, all, all zero. Love you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Is that you? Oh, I figured. So if I actually... Okay, so I can hear it through... Thought, uh, through the headphones? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Keep 
put your buds in. Yeah. We'll probably be able to hear. We can just share. Oh, there's somebody else left. Uh, it's me. Oh, okay. Two oh, times? Two people. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Sorry, we're getting off to a little bit of a rough start here. If you uh, just tuned in to the stream. Um, trying to figure out why we can't hear the video game audio, which is a big reason why we're actually playing the game uh, is for the awful dialogue. Yeah. So, we'll figure this out. This was a very impromptu idea. We should have actually tested this out a yeah. little more probably Apologies. before we started. But uh, I think this will probably work for us. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. So we'll just have to sit very close to one another, uh, which we don't like to do normally. I mean. Oh. Ah! Oh, sorry. We lost that person. We lost that person. Um. Oh, hey. Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we've figured it out, kind of gotten our, our audio issues fixed. You guys can probably hear it just fine, but we can't hear anything without wearing uh, earbuds. Um, but here we go. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Everybody Listen. in the same kind of looks like you can play. Yeah. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Yeah. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. He just, he's got this really lame attitude. Oh, but like you will kind of tell me where it's cool that guy, but, uh, I can promise you that. <sighs> Stop annoying our host, Louis. <laughs> son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Yes, son. Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Why couldn't you have gotten you some healthy dinner, my friend? With this, <laughs> your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. Oh, boy. You'll see. W will they? Loosen his tongues in no time. Yeah, I mean, literally, probably, but, uh... You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. That damn motto. God, Always remain God, rational. God. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Were they trying Borchard. to make her look like, uh... Von Borchard! Maggie. Listen! Who fucking knows? Uh, Let's make a deal. Why am I blinking on a last name? I'll tell you where the book is. Yes, I'm gonna let you do you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't, Don't worry, mother. Decision -making you want to play the hero. Already. Pity you're not in any position to do so. I'm gonna make the worst decision. Yeah. For the last time. They're all... Bad decisions, really, given the Where outcomes of is really terrible dialogue. Let but, me uh, do this. Trust me. Act. Act. You want us to do it? Yeah. Okay. This dork. Oh, oh good. Cool. <laughs> For 
God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. Let me see. You know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nerves. It's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Wow. Can't you be happy for once? I finally... We finally cracked the Von Borchardt case? He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? Oh, boy. You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Right. Let's go now. It's, it's pretty bad, yeah. Like, when I started playing this, I'd heard beforehand that, like, oh, the choices you make actually matter, and then what they didn't say is that, like, the dialogue is so bad and so poorly delivered. I mean, that actually, that bit was comparatively good to what oh, we have coming up here. Cool. Looking forward <coughs> to it. Yeah. You just had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. <coughs> The mad. least he like could do is explain to, to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, just, it is like, time for you to stop model. all this, Mother. Yeah. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, slogging searching for some long-lost really mystical like object that you just really can't really live without. Yeah. I'm already yeah. hating this yeah. trip, and all I've done is think of you. Well now, Duchess, the place is like find that, ourselves you know, both invited by yeah. Stad Hall. Yeah. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Stad Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? My mommy's missing. Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Wait, wait, is the party legendary? I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, <laughs> consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Turn the question back to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. Or in if you've Could come back again, in I imagine you must yeah. find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. You're not. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. 
Maybe you would have done something about that massive scar. Yeah. You got a mud. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Nope, it looks just the same. It's still really bloody. Yeah. These people are kicking ass. Mother? Oh shit! Oh, your hand! So? <coughs> okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, sir. Don't! No. God, this no. injury this game looks awful. You can die if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for <sighs> this guy's like eighty percent uh, nose. <laughs> Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take, take this. this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? It's just super I'm fine. Right now. Don't yeah. worry about anime rules. Yeah. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. I'm sure yes. Fine. I definitely have to find mother quickly. <laughs> I definitely have cancer. Or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. Happening to me for God's sake. I absolutely need to find you, mother. <laughs> Your mother? You. You, mother. You, mother. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, yes Duchess? Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, this is where we... have to kind of figure out what we want our dude to, to be. And, um... It doesn't really matter. I mean, we're just fucking around. Because okay. that sounds like the funnest. So, we can put some points into skills here. Okay. Science, occultism. occultism. of course. Okay. So we got three points. Yep. So, how many just do one? Just do one for now. And okay. see what else we got. Science, okay. erudition. Yep, do one there. Yep. Erudition. Be very erudite. And subterfuge. Yeah. Manipulation. Manipulation, let's do one. Okay. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> so that kind of determines what we'll be, we'll be able to do as we progress okay. here. Um, validate. So I'm going to be a cult. I'm a real witchy man. I'm a witchy I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the abbey, wasn't there? No. Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? That yes, story it did. That took I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant yeah, French story. investigator. <laughs> For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. <laughs> Fine, Emily. Tell me, 
I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Charlie wants to drop by. Oh, okay. Do you remember this lady? Uh, no. No, not at all. Not at all, sorry. Do we lie to her, though, about it? Do we yeah, like, why not? Okay. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A, a woman such as me? Shit, no matter. What a sweet yeah. talker you are. I don't know. Anyway. Remind me of how we met? Uh, <laughs> how we met? Uh, how we oh. met? Uh, oh, great. Um, all right. All right. We're, we're back. Uh, okay, so... We have to... Choose which lie we're gonna tell her about where we met her before. And so you see the, uh, the little pit yeah. standing in the corners. That tells us how many points we have to uh, do various actions. And so you can see like this one. Uh huh. One point. For oh, three. I would say Paris. Then let's just do that thing. Or or wait, no, we've got like are those little triangles or not triangles? The diamonds. The yeah, points. So, so we've got quite a few. Yeah, there's seven points that we have. Okay, let's do chatterettes. We can't do that one because it. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, let's do that one then. Okay. So. Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm, I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing me, Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. I really didn't want to hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. Let's go with that, then. Didn't see me, didn't know me. Push me harder and I'll make a fool of myself. Right, time to go to the manor. <coughs> so this is just of, like pushing on me. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Mm -hmm. Is she playing with me? A bitch. And so, like, the mechanics of this game are kind of cool, because, yeah. like, everybody has these vulnerabilities that you can try to expose through dialogue. Right. <laughs> the writing is so... Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't yeah. answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going with this, Emily. It, 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 You're connected right. to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. So by doing various things, we get bonuses to our, our staff that we had gotcha. chosen. Like when we got sliced across the face, that gave us some kind of some kind of bonus. Oops. Well, it gave us a uh, yeah, this guard. Yeah. Yeah. So one skill point conviction. Okay. <coughs> Oh, not because we got sliced, but because we acted against our mom's advice. Right. So, various things will give us points like that. Okay. And then there's these items that will allow us to restore our mm. little points that we kind of search for. It's kind of a pain in the ass because, like, there's that tiny blue speck, and everything here is very shiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just well, like there seems to be one in that. Little That's what you think. That oh, nope. Right. nope. 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 Just uh, how shiny this fucking game is. Okay. Everything has to be wet and glistening. So, uh, there are a couple of things that I know to find. I just haven't, I haven't played this part before, but mm. it's a little harder to. Let's see. Oh, oh. okay. Here's one. An old sesterce, Roman call. <coughs> yeah, it You're looking for your mom, dude. Pick up the pace. Right. No, I got it. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Well, that's kind of the whole point. <laughs> More world, 
Yeah. Just this royal jelly all over the fucking place yeah. there, like. Uh, uh, let me just drop this royal jelly all over my dock. Kind of gross. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What do you know about my mother? Mm, what, where is Lord Mortimer? <laughs> I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again, because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? <coughs> Indeed, sir. According to our information, no, lights, lights were seen in the middle yeah. of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately <coughs> not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S D R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother. Sarah de Richet. <coughs> I have orders oh, to no give it to Lord you, you Mortimer as soon that? as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? The kind of person to leave On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. You will kindly give me the handkerchief. You will kindly, uh, yeah. yeah you will sir. kindly give me the handkerchief. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve <laughs> such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? Thing. No, my nose not, going to sir. Bend, like, Please forgive all me, sir. Over. I've been such an idiot. So Here you is... are. I'm mean, just being like a snot nose, a little, little punk. Jesus Christ, dude. He's got a massive runny nose problem. It is indeed just, like, your hangover. Well, he, he did just have a nosebleed. He must yeah, have come true. for a yeah. specific reason. Probably I need enough. to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? What could she have been doing with this view could she have been like Morphing around, you know. <clears throat> Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. This miserable old Edges bar. Are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. <laughs> uh. Take it. Why not? This might just come in handy. Yeah, you might need a. Might need a metal bar. You might need a metal a sack bar. of seeds. It's an open. May as well grab that. No yeah. one seems to have sure. used any. <laughs> yeah, because there's obviously a lot of land to have a garden on this rocky island. Yeah. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Hmm. It's mine. See, look, the corners on these boxes, they look like they should be a thing. All look like things that. Oh, cool. More for royal jelly. Oh, good, great. It's like royal jelly's from bees, right? Yeah. But yeah, this doesn't seem like an island that a lot of bees are gonna be fucking hanging out on, but. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Also, I can clearly see something underneath it. Use the rusty iron bar.
That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. That does it. A book but and you also a bag. Try another delivery of that line. The Mysterium That's Cosmographicum. That does it. I know that, that would have been a fine well. Reading. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Things going on here. Things like unhealthy fixation on the feathers. Everything. Oh yeah, everything. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Examine rusty key. An iron key completely rusted. Take it. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Examine the powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. The food. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. And the smell this food's been here roughly two days. <laughs> the smell? You can tell so how left the last two days. <coughs> From the bread and the grapes and the piece of bacon. <laughs> I said two days. Yeah. Examine personal belongings. I didn't remember picking the olfactory genius tray. <laughs> shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. Well, shit. A piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. Shit. What does all this mean? It means it's her, it's her stuff, idiot. <laughs> <coughs> take the bag. Right. right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. The winner take it all. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on what? here, but hey, mother. you obviously mother, feel like hey, you're in danger. What did you do this, Mother? 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 <coughs> I'm just gonna Let assume whether it's out there for you to do something or not do something. You so you're to gonna do something, yeah. yeah. Get the lock? Sure. Or, no! Oh, I'm just gonna try the iron key. Oh, okay. There we are. Oh well, whatever. I wasn't able to do this when I played the part, so I was just like, oh, oh boy! <laughs> I can see what's in here now. More royal jelly for you? Yeah. Yep. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. <laughs> Not before. Vision. She had that vision of and her shooting the lady. Yeah. Like it. Hmm. This wharf is used as storage mm. for a lot of barrels. Hmm. Yeah. Examine the barrel. Uh huh. What have we here? More seeds. It's cannon powder. Examine the cannon powder. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dog. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, oh. too. Far. Yeah. A fragment of amber. <laughs> oh. Not have that said might that. be the best line he's delivered so far. Yeah. Uh, the best line, but also just kind of creepy how into it he was. Yeah. I'm gonna be spending some time with this Amber later. Ah, oh, Amber. I think that is all we can do here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, nope. More jelly. Latin inscription. And <coughs> Nessis. Fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Translate. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. Well, I tend to agree. What do you know, mother? <laughs> so, 
this game is about to get real stupid. You'll see here. Great. Oh, I can't wait. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Gotta be wearing color contact lenses, right? They're clearly oh, that's yeah. natural eye color. Yeah. Whoa. Impressive. Oh, so that's not ah, the color. I was looking wow. for you. <laughs> wow. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Vice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Okay. You have to go through that step. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, Thank you, my answer. son. I know that, that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Yeah? Yes, she's been here several weeks now. Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. Give me your letter. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. wow, gross, dude. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. Whoa. No! If only she had told me where she was headed. Ew. Nonetheless, Ew. our exchanges have always been discreet. And I should like them <laughs> to remain. Everything. Yeah. If your mother wishes stand to stand speak out. to you about like, us one day, I will not, not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Oh, surely. Yeah. Most certain. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Give me the envelope. this it's gonna take use up all of our points yeah but we got real jelly to get more points okay right, let me... let's use it our business is confidential be it mother or myself our motto has always been discretion in all things <coughs> and to promise to never betray a word of honor was your secret safe with mother it will be even more so with me you have convinced me the mystery with which your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto close to her heart your words seem sincere, my son. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary here, Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Yes. Uh, first time I don't want it. <laughs> You're gonna nag him. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do is just to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Mm -hmm. yes. You did say it was a very important I mean, <laughs> yes, it's urgent. I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm. What to do? Can you see a solution? <laughs> Come on. Just give me the letter for crying out loud. I cannot run the risk alone. 
I am going to trust you. You seem like an honest man. Bingo. Bingo. Listen to me, Bingo. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other wow. than your mother will read it? <coughs> <coughs> I must keep this stuff. Okay. Can I get down on my knees and pray to God? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> uh, I don't okay. think he's gonna go for um, that. Um but you can, can do we do you know. okay no worries? I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she doesn't share all our convictions, if they work together, why would she, she have always known provided it? assistance. <laughs> oh look, Come oh on. I am going to say, you can be proud that awful much. Just conveniently, be it only for her sake. Yeah. Always respect your name. Exposition. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about <laughs> fifteen names ready for departure. Be quick. <laughs> Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. <coughs> I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Break into the chimney? Go back to the group near the oh, chimney. That's our, our goal. Ah. Uh, quote unquote. But. See if we can find any more jelly. Yep. How about there? Oh, no devil's thorn. Devil the devil's thorn. The devil's thorn. We're getting exalted. The dock was just like littered with royal jelly. How yeah. come? Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. The great men. Look through it. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. <laughs> nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. You're just gonna steal somebody's book. Great. So, she's, uh... Yeah. He's a great guy. In addition to just being really obnoxious and... I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. <laughs> it's the least one can say. So I've been known here for all five ages. For, uh, since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur, His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Yeah, we just met. Oh, like just call me ago, Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, yeah, President of the United George Washington. States of America. Oh, great. Yeah. Delighted at last yeah. to make your acquaintance, Mr. Oh, President. Great. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. <laughs> Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. You're the one who brought up you, your presidency. You. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. 
It's the perfect place to build up a network. Yeah. One, one, one thing, you thing I know about, about George Washington, Washington forgive my he was super big on networking. Yeah, it's just the thing he's most well known my for is the uh, chopping on the cherry tree and then just his networking skills. My mother. My mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Yeah. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? So we're getting trashed on absinthe and then making policies that are going to influence the... Invent something. Okay. Like you, Mr. That's President, right. I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. non but okay. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, yeah. and we'll take a moment to speak about her. I'm gonna tell you some real nasty stuff about your mom. <laughs> Good lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. <laughs> oh. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff <laughs> when it comes to the occult. Excuse me, George, but are you my mother? Wait, so now they're implying that George Washington Good is evening, like a, my friend! An occultist. An occultist. Shit. <laughs> That's the main thing. It's going to be some kind of ground for here. An like, has delayed our host, God, Lord Mortimer. Okay. Oh. He can't oh, be present this evening, and he sends oh. his deepest apologies. What crypt did they dig him up? Exactly. Yeah. He, he looks like the crypt. Turned up? He looks and sounds like the crypt keeper. Yeah. That's um, Batman? Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English uh, aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer, so don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh. We shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. In this giant Thus, home. I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the <coughs> other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Discover what home knows about my mother. Okay. My vision is more important. Yeah. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see Here, you later. Here, let me explain to everybody one, yeah. one by one what I'm about Your to do. Your Eminence will be coming with you to speak with Sir Holm. And by the way, I'm also going to speak with Sir Holm. I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holt, an old friend of Lord Mortimer. Oh, A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France, how do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. 
Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. What is the story exactly? Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then, one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced <coughs> that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember you. Uh, perhaps you were mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Is there anyone missing other than my mother? Do you know if anyone else has gone missing recently? Not at all, sir. It's as if Sarah has purely and simply vanished into thin air. That's right. Just take me for an idiot, why don't you? Not even a servant, then. Not even a servant. I can assure you, we would have been in four. Keep your faith, my son. Only the celebrated... Alright, we have to pause briefly. Sorry. Okay. So, we're back. Uh, after a <laughs> lengthy bathroom break. Not really. That'd be very troubling if I had to be in the bathroom for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sarah de Riche could okay. vanish before our very eyes, and she will reappear. You will see. No! Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Wait there, I'll take care of it. I'd rather not get involved, either. <laughs> Just sit there a moment. It'll pass. She's slowly recovering. Now, these fits of hers are quite worrying to see, but normally there are no consequences. No consequences? Have you seen the state she's in? Can you tell me something about her? What's wrong with her? The dizzy spell is harmless, but her general condition is frankly Sorry, alarming. What is you seem to know her. What is she suffering from? I don't know exactly, but her father sent her to us in the hope that she would recover all her faculties. It would appear she suffers from episodes of dementia. Is she aggressive? That's, yeah. Um... Sometimes, but only toward herself. She has never hit out at anyone else, I can assure you of that. If she wasn't like that this morning, something must have upset her. That's one way to put it. The poor girl is exhausted, but that's not the cause of her problem. Some sort of horrible... You're all right, Elizabeth. Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Can he? Are not you all right? Think of anything in you context gave us quite of what a his mother. Take it easy. No, everything all Let ties me. back to his mother. I just need to mother. get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. My room. My mother you had saw a room here. Didn't you? Pardon me? He said he de la bestia. Sorry, Your Eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It's like the policy things that we had no control over. That Gentlemen, we out on. it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Maybe keep that uh, that kind of concealed. It's like you don't have to be transparent about everything in video yeah. game. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Every time, Washington, my dear, or you'll you lose your pretty sure. accent. <laughs> you seem to be intrigued yeah, by that statue. statue. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is remarkable. Super best buds with the owner of the rock. Lord Trouble. Mortimer is so fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, Gagnereau. Lord Mortimer has very good taste, and the means to express it. Oh, I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, I couldn't tell you who the artist of that painting there is. Maybe Satan. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, well, you wouldn't know. And the artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Sir Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. <coughs> I perceived her, but we weren't <laughs> introduced. You perceived her. Rest assured, she is not here for the same the reasons as yourselves. Yes. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's What's very late. You must be exhausted. Changing. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. <sighs> Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Oh, man. <laughs> right. Nobody is my room. Goes from talking like. Let me. Let me. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's lucky like, befuddled. <laughs> yeah. It, it, don't, like, do this stupid. <coughs> oh, I perceived. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And, oh, man. Yeah, he's. It's just like nobody would have said that in George Washington. I know day. it's very uh, anachronistic. Like. Yeah, like you go either a hundred percent one direction or a hundred percent the other, unless you're a time traveler. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Maybe that's Piaggi. Maybe big reveal here. Ooh, his mother. Mother. <laughs> Some more jelly. Please. <laughs> okay, that. Did, I did not actually know there jelly? was jelly there. Yeah. Nothing in there. I'm glad that this hall just twists and turns for no. Yeah. What reason. kind of fucking architecture is this? This doesn't. It's like uh, the Overlook Hotel or something. Except that, actually. Mm. President George Washington. Didn't they all go in the opposite direction? I, I think it loops around. Oh. Wait a second, was there something back on that? No, no. It's just very shiny. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. There was. Good eye. Ooh, a coin. Collector coin. Kind of feels like PT here, but it's <laughs> not at all scary. Yeah. What the fuck is my room?
Okay, here we are again. Got it. I'll be right here somewhere. Wait, he's not gonna go. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. Jacques Perru, mm -hmm. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay. Of course. Uh, okay. Yeah, great. What this room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. I think he's got a good eye. Good night. Go to your room. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. No, they said it will. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. It's what not about. Do? Open the letter without breaking the seal. Okay. So it really is a list of French yeah. countrymen. <laughs> Piaggi no wasn't lying. Was. Wow. wow. Nice. Wow. wow. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Oh he sure does things in a weird order. Yeah. When did this dialogue Saint Jerome the Angel. Yet again, yeah. Saturn devouring his son. Again? Uh, I saw the same theme in the hall. You saw the I wouldn't like to be a son. Downstairs. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but... I was sure the original was in Rome. Unlock. Golden elixir. Yep. Some jelly. Yep. Uh, what? Intoxicated. Uh. Wow. Whatever. I don't think we're going to be talking too many. Yeah, not a, every one of that. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. And lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Shut up. Good God. Very jolly. Oh, man. Ooh, collector coin. Hey. Okay, so that's just the wrap up for. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so we gotta allocate some points here. Right. <coughs> Let's see. Four points available, okay. So let's add uh, that, yep. Let's add subject users. What's this one? Yeah, how many? And take one. four points. One. Okay. Let's add a uh, science. Do you want to take a look at these other ones? Oh yeah, we if can we can add. Point. Yeah, if we can yeah, add, yeah, it just yeah. takes longer to level okay. them up. So it's logic, psychology, Ooh. vigilance. Questioning. questioning, let's add a questioning. Okay. So, I don't think it'll do anything unless we like get to level one. Oh, on really? But, I mean, we can gradually uh. do this. So yeah, you know, don't have to put it all. Okay. <coughs> Psychology. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Agility. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> so, what do you think? Anything? Uh. Well, let's. So, could level either of those up right now? Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So, conviction or agility? Agility. And that's four points. Okay. And this is cool. Like, when we find books, we can get points by reading, reading them. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, occultism, mm -hmm. science, or conviction. We already leveled. No. Was it conviction that we just leveled We up? didn't. It no, let's do that then. Okay. Your turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know? Yes. Well, in any case, no, I, do I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Morton. <coughs> he will meet him tomorrow. <laughs> oh, what a pity to lose a night at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? That's not how the game works. <laughs> Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. You destroying part of the... Come, come. <laughs> take a seat. Why wouldn't he have stayed in there to overhear the, the conversation with the villain? I don't think he's in control. Oh. He's, cause he oh, is he from a, his perspective? It, yeah, it's from the, the guard guy or the servant. A little nighttime strip, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint. Lime flower and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Okay. So maybe we'll call it quits. There. Seems like a good point to stop for now, but, uh... Yeah. We will pick this back up maybe in a couple days. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, you can always uh, check out the podcast if you're watching this. Uh, we're not doing an episode this week, but next week we will have an episode out of uh, us watching a horror movie that <laughs> neither one of us are very enthusiastic to, to watch it. It seems like it's going to be pretty goofy, but uh, yeah. we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, take a look at our website. You can uh, see the episode when it comes out. Tuesday after this next one, so uh, week from Tuesday. Week from Tuesday, and uh, yeah, uh, we will catch you later. Catch you later, potato, potato heads. Tags. <laughs> <laughs> so we try it again. Uh, no, because we can't edit it out. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could edit it out. It'll just be really awkwardly. Yeah, <laughs> obvious. Pasted in. Yeah. So, uh, 
<laughs> yep, there you go. That's what we're stuck with it. Uh, great. We are best at streaming. 